Hi, I'm Baron Spice Freak Sloss, and this guy also says hi, I guess. Hi, I'm Lord Grimm, Alex Sutherland. Yeah, you are indeed. That is the wrong order, but it's the audio. <laughs> right, so, some time ago, I tried this sauce, the original Reaper sauce from Badger's Artisan Foods. And to me, it tasted like a wonderful Mexican-style salsa with a mellow Reaper blend to it. I used that up all over my enchiladas and my tacos and such. But I've got another bottle recently. Alongside, I wanted to try out their medium sweet pepper sauce, their habanero one. Because I thought that would be lovely. Yeah. And then we've got two mild ones as well. Oh. Their chipotle barbecue. Which actually uses a salsa base according to its ingredients list. And their sweet chili. Which I will also put up an ingredients list for. In fact, I'll put up an ingredients list for everything. And it'll just be a chaotic mess on the screen right about now. I'll just whack it in there. Yeah. Hope you enjoy that mess. <laughs> anyway, so we got all these sauces, at least some of which are going to be quite salsa like. So, we've got a bowl here. And we're going to fill that with tortilla chips and various other nacho ingredients. So, these are M&S's cantina style tortilla chips, which are a bit less salty than your average, but more importantly, the corn is just a wonderful quality on them. Good to hear. Get you a nice bowl full. So that's a big bowl of of chips or crisps, whatever you call them. Pour over as much salsa as you feel like. This is a heatless salsa that I've made, just so that we've got a bit extra on there. Yeah. When you say how, how much we like, you just mean like, drizzle it on. Yeah, put on the much you like. style. Oh, got to run to style. Oh. Ooh, that is, yeah, I think that's much stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that isn't Gordon Ramsay style. Yeah, probably not. Though you do realise this means I get to put him in the uh, Tags at the bottom of the video. <laughs> I think it's more like Harriet style. <laughs> or they just bang everything on style. I don't love spicy chips. <laughs> yeah, boy. So that seems like a good amount of salsa. Now spoon on some sour cream while I get the next ingredient. Sour cream. The dream. Living the dream with sour cream, eh? My cheese sauce appears to, appears to be cooling. It's quite thick at the moment. But hey, put a little bit of that over. It looks weird. It smells like bread sauce. There is a small amount of bread flour in this, and also because it's heated and cooled a fair bit, it is a tiny bit grainy, sadly. Part of that also is that it's used a low-fat mozzarella in with the cheddar, which honestly was kind of crappy, but I had to use it somewhere. And this seemed like a better place for it than most. So it's going to be paired alongside other cheeses. Anyway, give that a try on its own, just see what you think, and then we'll start adding sauces. Okay, get some sour cream in there. Yeah, that's my standard salsa. Mm. Tastes nice, yeah? Right, so which one do you want to crack open first? The chipotle barbecue or the sweet chili? Mm. That is nacho sauce. Uh, the, Jeez, the sweet chili. God, that's on, was that Pizza Hut that did that? <laughs> it was a terrible joke then. <laughs> it's not any better now. It used like a fine cheese. Yeah, and not a fine wine. <laughs> it's got blue and furry. Mm, that's not isn't it? It's a very syrupy one. Syrupy. A very thin sweet chili. Syrupy sauce. Let's go for it. Mmm. Mmm. That's rich. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, tamarind high up the ingredients list and a bit of cinnamon further down. Mm. That's not what I expect of a sweet chili. I expect more of a Thai style than this, but that's nice. Put some mine as well then. Ooh. <laughs> Don't mind me, I just accidentally poured too much on. Mm. Right. Well, that's a winner. Mm, 
both nice. Heat wise, what would you say? One one and a half. You'd say one. I'm honestly leaning towards a 0.5. I've had no heat from that. Well, it's I mean, just flavorful. I suppose so. I don't think sweet chili's got substance into it. Usually, sweet chili is like quite mild. I have got a uh, Reaper sweet chili over there that's definitely not. Well, I'm saying usually, I don't see that. Yeah, usually, yeah. Right, so let's move on to the Chipotle barbecue, shall we? Chipotle barbecue. Interestingly, despite being another square bottle, this one is a different square bottle to that one. <laughs> they sent me three different types of bottles, and I'm not totally sure why, but. Maybe it shows them like running out of each bottle type. Hmm. I don't know. Nothing wrong with it, just curious. Right. I'm just going to put it straight on the tortilla chip. So there's a good, a good way of getting like more coverage. This one's a bit less thin than the other. That's good though, at least. There's like a spot of sprawl of your hand. In. This is a bit... <laughs> big splodge of cheese sauce on there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of the Reaper one in that it's a salsa-like flavour up front. But it's got a good bit of smoke in behind. That's not your standard barbecue sauce. That is very much a barbecue salsa sauce. Or a smoky salsa sauce. Get some salsa in there. It's not got the molassesy flavour that I'm used to in a barbecue. That's nice. Hmm. I'm gonna try another little bit though. Just see how much heat it adds to it. No, it's nice, yeah. Good flavour to it. I'm gonna go to a one on that one. I feel like there's a tiny bit of heat to it. The heat's very, um, very small. Would you say it's hotter than the sweet chilli? Mm, yeah, but only slightly. I've read them both for like a one or less. So, on to the one that I'm most excited for. The medium sweet pepper, the habanero one. Medium sweet pepper. Now, there's mustard in this, which suggests it's going to be a little different to their others, and a little different to the standard habanero sauce, and maybe even less of a salsa. But who knows? Well, we'll see, I suppose. Mustard. Yeah. That's quite the uh, saucy chip. Yeah, they're falling apart like in our last video now. I did try to minimise that, but... <laughs> you pour it onto, like, you know, your hand on you. No, no, it's not on my hand, yeah. amazingly. Very, uh, very well balanced. Mmm. No, no, no. Rotate it. There you go. Oh no, no, that is a mustard salsa. I've never had such a thing before, I never knew such a thing was possible. Let's go watch that, it's got a runny sauce. Let's go for it. I'm gonna have some more of that, because that's good. I mean, they're all good, but... Mmm. That's nice. Mmm. Muscuri the acorn is nice. I've never won them. Uh, yeah, a bit more. Uh, I'm gonna match you in that giant tortilla chip full. Because I need to get an idea of how hot this is. And I'm not getting a lot of heat from any of these. Mm. Oh, that was an even bigger dollop than I expected. It's too fast. Yeah. That is nice. It's a good flavour. Again, yeah, very very minimal heat. Mm, that's significantly more heat than the others. Yeah. I would go with maybe as high as a 2.5. But it's certainly not what I expect of a habanero sauce. It is more what I expect of a medium sauce. Like <laughs> they call it. It is a medium pepper sauce, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's spicy. Yeah. Also, it's like a good flavor as well. Like maybe, maybe it's just a bit stronger. I'm not sure. I wouldn't say it was stronger than the tamarind sweet chili. Maybe in terms of flavour, stronger than the uh, Chipotle one, but... Yeah. Is it time? Yeah, it's time for the Reaper sauce. The Reaper sauce. Now, I've had this before, I know how hot I find it, but I'm not going to tell Alex at the moment. If he's read my blog, he'll know. If he hasn't, oh well, that's his problem. Yeah, I read it all the time, me. <laughs> Every blog. <laughs> you know what to say? You reap what you sauce. Ah. <laughs> uh... That's right. I've got to make sure you to watch your videos. 
He's gonna hate them. <laughs> hmm. Being dope on that. A bit more heavy on the Reaper flavor than I remember it being. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. I mean, it's still very much what I remember in other regards, though. That is an instant like oh, chase horse. Right, because for me the heat's being very late. Mm, I'm only starting to get it now, really. Well, I'm not. I don't feel any heat right now, really. I know it's, I know it's building, but mm. building. It's getting there. Yeah. And personally, I feel like he gets to a six. I don't feel like he does anything too crazy, but it's definitely super hot. Less than I typically expect of Reaper, but a very tasty sauce. And we're going to finish these off with all of these sauces off camera. But before we go, we have Gusto Organics Fiery Ginger with Chipotle drink. Recently I went to a restaurant called Chiquitos and the heat was good. The flavour was way too acidic. But I got this with my meal and it was wonderful. So I, like I figured I would share this with Alex. Is that you like Cheetos, do you say? No, I said I've heard of, I've heard of the place. I'm not, oh, you've heard I'm, of Cheetos, I've not, right. not been in before. Where is it, actually? The one I went to was in Huddersfield after a convention, so... Right, I see. I'm not honestly sure where the Leeds one is. I mean, I feel like there's a Leeds one, but I'm not sure it is now. Oh, there definitely is. I just don't know where. Or just near, like, the, the coin exchange. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll look into it, I guess. Yeah, we'll look into it. We'll... I don't know. Well, that's cool you found this in there, though. We'll link their Google Maps in the description, I guess. Their Google Maps, yeah. The website. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can link their website as well. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Got the back. fizz makes the heat quite instantly catchy, doesn't it? Yeah. It's funny, actually. I, I it's love not actually I, that strong. It's just, it catches you right away. I love ginger beer, but I sometimes I'm just only drinking it. I'll just, like, coughing, like, to death. And, like... and this, you get that sort of rooty element of the ginger. It's a proper gold Ooh. ginger beer type. But then it's got that earthiness from the chipotle as well. Mm. And... Oh, I like it. It's really nice. Not much more I can say than that. Yeah, it's, it's really, like, it's really refreshing. It's like, it's a ginger beer, but it's like, it's, uh, it's fizzy of, and it's mm. spicy, but it's a nice to drink. It's kind of got a lime tang, but not much of it. Just a little bit. A hint. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Mother. <laughs> I don't have one. No, I'm afraid that's all for this video. We may well get that again sometime, though, because that really is nice. Not just me on that, but I feel like the I feel like the reaper sauce and that's mixed and now it's like <sighs> Quite possibly. It's too much now. Well let's go back to the mild ones while we finish this off. And yeah, that's all for us for today. Catch us again sometime when we'll be in pain more. Always. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see that, and read my blog. Bye. See ya. Shameless self-promotion.